had my first case of theft at my um, rental property from someone who actually lives in, who actually lives inside of the home and not someone outside of the home. Stay tuned. We're going to talk about it in this video. All right, guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is John Lewis. Um, as you heard from the intro, the topic for today's video is going to be some theft that took place inside of my um, inside of my rental property. Um, it, it actually took place from uh, one of the tenants who live inside of the home. When I say one of the tenants, um, this particular property is a is a room rental where I rent out the rooms to men. I I don't go overboard by turning the bedrooms, um, by turning the living room and the dining rooms into rooms and and throwing up um, sheets or whatever in the basement and, and turning those into rooms. I just use the four bedrooms that, that are already in the home. Um, and I rent them out to a man. It's a very uh, strategic location. I'm right on the bus line, right across the street from a grocery store, um, right by the library, a family dollar. Um, there's a bank right there for the guys to make their monthly payments. They can just literally walk to the bank. It's less than a block away and make their payments. So. Um, this is going. This video is going to be about that particular property on today, um, but the way it all started was that uh, we had a room go vacant, and I'm in the process of upgrading the property. So as rooms go vacant, I'm going to completely remodel the bedrooms. Um, right now, all of the bedrooms, um, well, some of them still have the drop ceiling in place, uh, have the brown wall paneling. Um, older older wood slab doors so what I've gone um, what I've done is I, I pulled out all of the old baseboards all of the old trim we had old wooden windows in there put the, pull those out so and I'm saying for this particular room so there's all wood paneling there's two windows there's an old door there's old trim there was drop ceiling I pulled it out of the room got some new vinyl windows put inside of the room got it got a new six panel door um, pre-hung door put inside of the room went with some new trim and we're going to have drywall in the room this way we can go with the modern gray and white paint scheme as opposed to just the uh, old school brown paneling so with that being said uh, we've been working on the room I thought it was fine for um, for us to leave our tools overnight. It's myself and my uh, and my handyman. He actually stays down the street, so he he's been doing the bulk of the work. But I'll go over and help sometime as well. But um, but yeah, we've never had an issue with leaving any tools any place, um, and we just had a new guy move in as well about a month ago. So whenever something like this happens, what's the first thing that you do? You're gonna start to blame the new guy, and we both fell victim to that. Um, and now, now I feel bad about it because it was not him. It was not the new guy. He had nothing to do with it. I asked him. He told me the truth. Um, and him and I, we, we talk a lot. He seems really cool. But, uh, but yeah, everyone went on alert of him when this first took place. So, um, long story short, it, it ended up being one of my tenants who was going through a financial hardship. But he just started working again, so he was back getting on his feet. However, he saw he saw like some uh, a jigsaw and and my drill. Uh, these tools cost over a hundred um, over a hundred dollars. So he saw it and he happened to take it to the pawn shop, maybe about five minutes away from the house. So maybe a week went by. We were asking, no one saw it. No one saw the tools. I went and bought me some some new drills. And my handyman, he was still without his jigsaw. So my um, handyman happened to go to that pawn shop, and he called me, and he told me that our our equipment is here right now. Um, what what do you want to do with it? They need a serial number before they can tell us who actually brought the um, who actually brought the materials in. So that was that was my um, first line item on my agenda was to get the serial number, whatever they needed, so that they can tell me. Who brought our tools in and before I could even get done my cousin also stays next door so they got word of what we were working on and the handyman stays down the street so he put the word out hey John and I were working on getting the um, the uh, serial numbers this way we can report it and it won't be us to come back and get whoever took it the police will actually come and, uh, and, and handle it from there so really no later than an hour or two after we talked about it, I get a call from one of my tenants who's um, 
I think he may have been with me the longest. When guys move in, I brag about him to them. You know, hey, he's a stand-up guy. He goes to work every day. He doesn't bother anyone. He's quiet. He's off to himself. He's in his room. And he called me up, John, man, hey, I, I did something really stupid, but I'm not trying to get in trouble. Uh, just started working this job, so I, I just want to come clean with you. Man, I I um, it, I know you all were in there working, and I just so happened to see a drill sitting out in the hallway. Um, and I, I, I took it to the pawn shop. I was down on, on hard times, um, which I can understand. But this type of home as well, you, you, you actually cater to that type of crowd a lot. I work with a lot of men who are getting on their feet. Um, they stay with me, maybe some may stay with me for six months, some may stay with me up to three years. Oftentimes, maybe they're, they're switching jobs or else they, they've just gone through a divorce. They need a place where all they have to worry about is their monthly rent and they don't have to worry about anything else. Or they can save up, they can find a new job until they bounce back and they let me know, no hard feelings. I actually love being able to serve them that way as long as they're respectful to the home, respectful to themselves, respectful to the neighbors, and respectful to the other uh, guests inside of the home. They're, they're cool with me, but um, I love serving them in that uh, capacity. Of course, I hate when they move because there's turnover and then there's always work at turnover. But oftentimes when they moved, it's because they found a better situation. They found maybe an apartment that they can now afford for themselves or if they found a house or else sometimes they've gotten back with their wife and um, and, and they're going to go off and, and try to make this thing work. So it's a bittersweet moment whenever they move. But circling back to this tenant who called me up and, and, and let me know that he took it to the pawn shop. So what happened was we were working on the property. Funds got low took a break from it. I, I had several other things come up and I had to put that room on hold. I still had three other rooms producing income, so I was fine, which is still a very, very bad habit of mine. Whenever these rooms turn, I need to get them back rented out ASAP because I'm losing money whenever I'm not making money. But it's kind of tempting whenever you have three other rooms that supporting the home is paid off and everything. Um, so his goal, his plan was to take the the tool to the pawn shop, get the money that he needed. Once he got paid, he'll get it back out. He'll put the tool back in the room. Neither, neither one of us would never miss it. But um, but when he got paid, life happens. Things come up. He didn't go out and get that tool. We started to notice that, man, my, my, my drill just walked away. Or it's my jigs I walked away. I know I left my uh, drill here. I left it in my bag. I go home, I check my basement, it's not there. I know I'm not crazy. I left my drill inside of this room. Somebody took the drill out of this room. So we ask everyone, everyone says no, until he calls me up after he hears about what's about to come down. He heard that we were in, in touch with the pawn shop. The police will be notified. I'll go home and look at my other tools to see if I can get the serial number, take that back up to them. Oh, yeah, so-and-so uh, brought that in here. So he got ahead of it. He talked to me. He was level-headed. He was respectful. Um, and, and he's actually in the process of reimbursing both myself and my handyman. So with, with my handyman, for the jigsaw, he was able to just go and pay for, um, to, to repurchase that jigsaw from the pawn shop. I allowed him to, um, he tried to do the same with me, but I told him I don't need these same tools because I already went to Home Depot and I bought the tools over again. I need the cash reimbursement. Um, so he, he just, and I still want to make sure he's good to move forward. So he paid his full rent, but he didn't have enough to do the full rent to get out the other tool, my handyman, which I wanted my handyman to go ahead and get his stuff first. And, and on top of that, reimburse me for mine. So for mine, he's going to put that reimbursement on next month's rent. And, and we should be all squared away. But I thought, let me hop on and, and share that story. Um, you know, you I guess you have to be careful, even if it's in your property. Um, but also be be diligent. If things come up missing, get creative. Ours was, I think ours was a lot more luck. My handyman just happened to go down to the pawn shop and, um, and see our tools there. And he followed up. He was even more 
on it than I was. I was starting to let it go. I'm gonna get some new tools. I'll make sure I don't leave any here. But he was he was on it. He he was not letting it go. Um and it worked out. So I, I got new tools and I'm gonna get some reimbursement and, and he got his tool back. So I want to share that with you guys. Let me know if you've had any theft taking place at your rental properties. Hopefully you haven't, but if, if you have, um, feel free to drop it down in the comments. My goal was to knock out one video every week. So if you like videos like this, you want to hear about my stories when I'm out in the field or, or with my particular rental properties or if we're working on a rehab, let me know. Um, I'll be bringing a video to you every week. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week.